Okay, update video on the CJ6 frame. Made some considerable progress. So what we're looking at here, we have, well, back up. First thing that I did was completely coated the frame in a product called Coraseal. Coraseal is a rust converter and primer. So it reverses the chemical process of rust and turns the steel into a paintable surface. And unfortunately, I didn't take a video of the before. I've got a coat of paint on here already. But you can sort of see I've put a little core seal on this axle. And you can see out here, I have not hit with the core seal yet. That has been core sealed. So it, core seal really turns this into, takes rust and turns it into a nice flat black surface that you can paint over. After we did the core seal on the entire frame, we put a coat of VHT chassis and roll bar paint on here. I'm thinking I'm gonna do three coats of this. Uh, mostly because I'm overly cautious, but living in New England, even though my plan is not to expose this to a lot of salt and so forth, extra coat of paint when a coat of paint only costs 20 or 30 bucks is a worthy investment. So this is where we are now. Core seal, one coat of VHT, just to give you guys a look at the products that we used here. This is the VHT, roll bar and chassis. And then this is the core seal. Just to give you an idea of what you need to get a project like this done, I bought way too much core seal. This is a gallon of core seal. I probably haven't used a tenth of it to do this entire frame. And I was very liberal with the application. So you don't need to buy this much, but I'll keep this around. Knowing myself, I'll have another frame in here before too long. But that's the update as of now. We'll also drilled all of the holes to mount the new Rocky Road brackets. So those are ready to go on as soon as I'm done painting. Pretty cool. Once we're done painting and we put the suspension back on, we're gonna take it across town to uh, our Jeep specialist here in town and we're gonna have some frame boxing put in. A lot of people will box CJ5 frames because as you can see, it's just C-channel. It's not boxed down a good portion of the frame. It's even more important with a CJ6 because you have an extra 20 inches of just C-channel there. So it's even more flexy. We wanna retain some flex, but that's a little more than we want. So we're taking it across town to have that sort of sewn up a little bit. All right, more updates to follow. I'll probably do a video once I get the suspension back under it and it's in a rolling chassis form again.